it does take some artistic ability um, to really get a feel for how to do this. My paintbrush is a rototiller <laughs> and a tractor hooked to it. I get a design, I load it into my computer, use GPS equipment, and put it out in the maze. I cut out about 50 mazes a summer, and the majority of those are done between the last week of June and the last week of August. We like to cut it when it's before it gets tall. Uh, I'm actually allergic to it once it tassels. I travel as far west as uh, Wyoming. I go up into Canada to cut mazes and as far south as Florida and literally almost every state in between here and there. The majority of them are at least five or six acre mazes. Uh, I've cut as large as 13 acre maze. Uh, we do quite a few dinosaurs, we do African themes, uh, island themes. This year we chose an Egyptian theme. It is educational for kids. They learn some Egyptian symbols that's going to be in the, in the uh, game stations within the maze. Take some practice. Uh, it's easy to get disoriented. Even if you have your map, you still, it's, and that's the point of it, I guess. It's, it's kind of fun when you get lost if you're not in a hurry. It's not out of the ordinary for us to drive three or 4,000 miles in five days and cut out 10 or 12 core mazes in, the, in that amount of time. It's, uh, you definitely get tired of looking at a lot of corn after, after doing these for a summer. If I had a penny every time I heard this is amazing, that, I'd certainly be rich by now. 